Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister wives, Cody Brown's laugh out loud ad didn't help sell Las Vegas house. Every now and then a secret treasure connected to sister wives star Cody Brown may surface. This time it's a lost, embarrassing advertisement intended to sell one of his Las Vegas properties. In 2018, the Brown family of sister wives on TLC made the decision to move to Flagstaff, Arizona, after selling their four houses in Las Vegas. The clan had to hurry things forward in order to pay for their relocation. It was implied on the show that Janelle Brown handled the real estate sales. But it looks like the Brown family hired outside assistants to remove the houses off the market. In a 2019 Instagram video posted by Robin Brown, Cody may be seen in an embarrassing commercial that uses his popularity to promote the sale of the 4039 Wild Eagle Circle house. In the video, Cody is seen standing next to realtor Tom Love. Love invites viewers to see the house using the popularity of sister wives. Later, implying he would be at the open house, Cody says to viewers, love to see you there. Did Christine Brown get her house sold with the trick? Distractify reports that out of the four houses, Christine sold the last. First listed at $675,000. It was gradually decreased until it was listed for $574,900, then in September 2019 it sold for $535,000. It is supposedly now worth more than $800,000. Throughout the 18 seasons of Sister Wives, star Cody Brown has made money from different side gigs by using his relationship to the TLC show. Let us examine some of his most well-known performances. The family opened the internet clothes and accessory store, My Sister Wife's Closet, in 2017. Leading the charge was Robin Brown, Cody's fourth wife, along with wives Christine, Mary, and Janelle Brown. The jewelry did not sell as well as anticipated. And while the website is still up, a pop-up says, we are busy updating the store for you. To keep updated, subscribe to our newsletter. The items are still being sold. Through Cameo, where he offers customized films, Cody also makes money off his relationship to sister wives. Videos by Cody start at $149. Cody will do advice, pep speeches, roasts, birthday or graduation wishes and fan inquiries, according to the website. As reported by E! News in 2009, reality show producer Terrence Michael clarified that families on shows like Sister Wives receive roughly 10% of the budget for each episode. As a result, the family earns between $25,000 and $40,000 per episode if the show costs between $125,000 and $400,000. At times, the family produced up to 14 episodes a season, in addition to look back and tell all. Any season might bring in between $350,000 and $560,000. After 18 seasons on TLC, the Brown family has reportedly made well over $6 million. If this was the situation within the family, then each adult had so far made about $1.20 when divided by 5. Keep in mind the keyword family in this conversation since, according to reports, only the five principals, Cody, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin, were paid, not their kids. It's not apparent how the series stars split the money. The family was paid through Cody Brown Family Entertainment, LLC, before three of his four wives departed the polygamist group. Cody is still in an LLC with Robin alone, but Christine, Janelle, and Mary Brown have all started their own after leaving the family. Sister Wives, Cody Brown's cringe-worthy commercial did nothing to help sell Las Vegas home. The Sister Wives family has always been known for their unconventional lifestyle and the drama that ensues within their polygamous household. Cody Brown, the patriarch, has often been at the center of this drama. Recently, Cody's attempt to sell his Las Vegas home through a commercial left fans and real estate experts scratching their heads and questioning his marketing strategies. In an effort to offload one of his properties, Cody Brown created a commercial that many have described as cringeworthy and ineffective. This attempt not only failed to attract buyers, but also sparked a wave of criticism and ridicule online. 
the commercial, an attempt at real estate marketing. Cody Brown's commercial was intended to be a creative and personal approach to selling his Las Vegas home. The home, one of several properties the family owned in the area, had been on the market for a while, without much interest. Cody decided to take matters into his own hands, hoping a direct and heartfelt appeal would resonate with potential buyers. The commercial featured Cody giving a tour of the house, highlighting its features and benefits. He included personal anecdotes and emphasized how the home had been a special place for his family. However, the execution left much to be desired. Poor production quality, the commercial suffered from low production quality. Filmed on a handheld camera, it lacked professional lighting and sound, making it look amateurish. This was a stark contrast to the polished real estate videos buyers are accustomed to seeing. Awkward presentation, Cody's presentation style was awkward and uncomfortable. His attempts at humor fell flat, and his scripted lines seemed forced. Instead of coming across as genuine and engaging, Cody appeared nervous and out of his element. Overemphasis on personal stories, while personal touches can make a property more appealing, Cody's focus on his family's experiences in the home overshadowed the actual features of the property. Potential buyers looking for information about the house itself were left wanting more. Online Backlash and Criticism The response to Cody Brown's commercial was swift and overwhelmingly negative. Fans of sister wives and real estate enthusiasts took to social media to express their opinions, and the consensus was that the commercial did more harm than good. Social media mockery, social media platforms were flooded with comments mocking the commercial. Viewers pointed out the amateurish production and Cody's awkward delivery. Memes and parody videos quickly followed, adding to the ridicule. Real estate experts weigh in, real estate experts also chimed in, criticizing the approach and offering advice on how Cody could have done better. Many emphasized the importance of professional quality videos in real estate marketing and the need to focus on the property's features rather than personal anecdotes. Fan reactions, fans of sister wives expressed disappointment and secondhand embarrassment. They noted that the commercial seemed out of touch with modern marketing strategies and questioned why Cody hadn't sought professional help. The impact on the property sale. The commercial's failure had a direct impact on the sale of the Las Vegas home. Rather than generating interest and attracting potential buyers, it seemed to drive them away. The property remained on the market for several more months, and Cody eventually had to lower the asking price. Reduced interest, the commercial's poor reception led to a reduction in the number of inquiries about the property. Potential buyers who saw the video were likely put off by the amateurish presentation and lack of focus on the home's features. Price reduction, in an effort to attract buyers, Cody had to reduce the asking price of the home. This was a significant blow, as the family was already facing financial challenges. The price reduction did eventually lead to a sale, but at a lower profit than originally hoped. Damage to reputation, the commercial also damaged Cody's reputation as a savvy businessman. Fans and critics alike questioned his judgment and decision-making skills, which may have long-term implications for his other business ventures.